Hi there. So let's move to the mission stage. So remember, you can pick up any of the geometries that you generate. I will first let's do it in 2D and then we move to 3D. In 2D, I will pick up the one that we generated using uh, space cleanse, nothing changed. Okay, so just to remind you here that I'm working in the, in the solution that you have. Okay, so these are my solutions. So if you want to see how I generate the geometry, the mesh, the mesh parameters, just visit these solutions. And we're creating the new cases. Okay, so in these new cases, I'm going for the mesh. I would going to put some parameters just to get a mesh, but if you want to get the same parameters that I have here, just revisit these cases. So now let me choose here mesh. I would put it here. Okay, I want to use that that geometry. And now double click here. I will open the mesh and utility or oh, ANSYS measure. Okay. So one thing also I want to mention that uh, ANSYS mesh or the utility that we're using, it works in for 2D and 3D cases, okay? You can create 2D meshes. Instead, probably you realize here that you have Fluent with a meshing tool, Fluent with meshing. The mesh, the mesh, the Fluent tool, okay, the, the generate me meshes is really good, but does not do 2D meshes, okay? Or the sweep, or, or the sweep meshes. It, it, that tool it does only uh volumetric mesh so there is a, a strong restriction but you, you pretty much with some sips measure you, you can get the same results so this is what we have and see that we have two bodies just to remind you that for instance if you want to suppress that body for the meshing is, is stage just press there suppress and then let me go to just to show you mechanical okay and cfd fluent and let me generate with these parameters okay so see that uh, ANSYS mesh is choosing some default parameters, then we can choose that. But see what happens when you enable another body, okay? And that's why we want those bodies to press. So you enable that body, and if you generate the mesh, see that you have two meshes. One mesh for this one and one mesh for that, and that is a problem, okay? So there is an option to say that use this body to make finer this mesh. And that is what we're going to see. So let's go here. Clear generated data and let's start from scratch. So insert, let me insert a method here, select this one. And let's use all I like to use triangle. Okay. Then let me insert again a sizing function in an edge. So I will add a sizing here in my cylinder. Okay, let me hide this one. Here. Okay. Size in there, and let me choose a value 0 0.01. Probably was a little bit too low. Okay, 0 0.1, probably I can change the growth rate here to have a better growth rate, and let's see what, what, what we have. Okay, a nice mesh, okay. And now let's add the boundary layer. Insert, and here you have inflation so that here i want to grow the boundary layer here and i want to put eight layers so now at this point it's up to you to choose a method here so remember that you can have the first layer thickness so for instance if you run with a renal of 1000 you can get your estimate for this the first cell uh, the first cell center the location and then put it there okay so in my case i'm going kind of blindfold i know that this value is okay for values up to probably ten thousand so as you generate values of rain or not of uh, up to ten thousand see that this is the mesh we have a really nice boundary layer there so let's say that we're happy with this mesh probably you can add more refinement it's up to you but see that still we have this problem okay so i just hide this one but see that you have a mesh there and this is not a sector but what we need to do is use this body to project a mesh here and make, and make, and make a, a finer mesh on the white of the cylinder. So to do that one, you go here, insert sizing, okay? And there is a method here. As you go here, see that you have a method called body of influence. So this method is only available when you have multiple parts here, okay? You select body of influence. So I want here, my scope geometry is this one. And the body of influence is this one. And in this body of influence, 
I want a, sil a sizing of, let's say, 0 0.5. Probably I can make it smaller, 0 0.2. Okay, let's use that one. If I generate the mesh now, see what we have. Okay, so see that there is no mesh in the body of scenes influence, so you I can hide it there, and see that that body of influence was projected here and then you added more cells, okay? So this is how you do this localized refinement. So remember, you can do this sizing in lines, points, surfaces, or you can add a body of influence. You have many options to do this sizing. This is very helpful when you are doing external aerodynamics. You can use regions like this. So I use a surface, but you can use a body and you can add multiple, okay? There is no limitation. So now that we have this, we can at boundary condition. Also, just to mention something, if you look at here at your tree, maybe you're going to see this new option here, definition here, call connection. This is related to this, that you have multiple bodies and it's creating contact relations. So you need this one. So safely right click and delete here, uh, 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 delete. You can do it safely, okay? There is no need to have that, okay? So do it, okay, check always there, and if you have those connections, delete that safely. So at this point, what we can do is boundary conditions. You select, see that we're selecting edges, and probably you start to get the idea why it's better to have that 3D sweet mesh, okay? Because now, as you have the surfaces, it's easier to visualize things. Then let me go here, let me add this one. This will be, outlet okay let me go here and this one will be i will call it top let me go here and this one i will call it bottom and i go here i will call he this one cylinder so you have all your boundary conditions Okay, inlet, top, bottom, cylinder, outlet. Remember, always check if you have overlapping, there are no overlapping. Okay, so in this case, I know there are, but sometimes you have very complicated geometries and boundary setups, and it's a good idea to do that. So this is it, okay? So uh, let me show you that. If I go here, look at that. We have this number of cells, 70 cell phone, okay? And now in the next video, we're going to do exactly the same, but will be the suite method, okay? But you will see that even if that kind of you have this 3D domain, we have the same or similar cell count. Okay, so that's all for, for this video. See you next time. Bye.